morning everybody just up here with the cows um we yeah just shifted this brake uh, so they're on some good new grass and then um we've got two calves to tag so just had a look um cows replacement tag number 25 so we'll run down and tag the calf um yeah so dead calf and the heifers yesterday wasn't that great so just born dead um and then yeah no no other calves there this morning so it's kind of as it goes but yeah uh don't forget to please subscribe I see about 50 percent of you guys haven't subscribed so if you like what you see um yeah please subscribe and it'll help our reach and uh, yeah create some opportunities so we'll go and tag this one and then go find the second one so we'll just set up our taggers here there you go, number 15. We here for calf. Pretty healthy. Number 15. Uh, so we'll go write that in a notebook and go find the next one. Bit hard to hold the camera and <laughs> take a calf at the same time. Found her. She'd taken, uh, taken the calf away. Down the back. And then we'll find our next lot of tags. <laughs> we uh we might have to leave this one for a bit. Oh hey, CSL petal. Okay. I know when to uh when to not pursue and this is the case here. <laughs> She'll bowl me over. What's her number? Ah, you're a bought in heifer. Bought in care. Oi, what's your number? 36. Orange 36. Okay, okay, okay. Right up. I get the point. We shall leave that there before I get pummeled into the grouse. So there are some of the cows and cows we've tagged and shedded it off. So looking pretty happy. Just hanging out here on the airstrip. So put some mud guards on this thing the other day. Just big rubber flats. Mud flats I suppose you call them. Yeah, I took the trailer and behind it in the mud and uh, the trailer filled up with mud. This thing can throw some, uh, <laughs> throw some crap around. Seems to be working quite well. Red! Red. Red. Well, I go. Sit. Sit. Good boys. Well, I go. Just out here getting the rams in. We're going to run the rams through the yards, just check them all over, give them a drench, check your feet, do all that good stuff, put them in a different paddock. Um, yeah, and then we've got some coals to bring in, and we've got some hoggets, dry hoggets going away on um, Monday. So you just need to start gathering everything up and trying to get rid of all the, trying to sell all the, um, all the animals that, um, you know, aren't pregnant or, yeah, aren't going to produce us anything, so make some space. Your fine looking yard kit you've got there, Gina. I know. It's pretty good. I might as well just give him a drench now. Well, that's why I put it there. Oh, I put my legs are sore. Just went running. Oh. Lunchtime running. Trying to get into my training again. So... I didn't go for a lunchtime run. Because he pooed. I don't know. 
Yeah. And I bought them over. Ah. Oh. Hey, even they've got this pink wool. Yeah. They need shearing. Yeah. Hello, gorgeous. You guys have produced some lovely looking lambs. The race will set up to crutch these these uh, sheep. But, um, Why are they lambs? I don't know. Billy, come here. We've got our rams over there all sorted out. Cow ewes over there, about 38 of them to sell. And this one. <laughs> you and twins, so it's a bit of a bonus. We'll um, crutch her up and put her in with the triplets. Um, yeah, so I just got to go feed out to the cattle now, and yeah, then it might be about the day. It might be Friday done. So, still a couple of jobs to do. We're getting there. Those you and two lambs we drafted out just before and with the triplets and a few other mixed pieces and just been putting anything I gather up um, or anything we bring back from the lease block into here so heaps of feed nice good Italian for them yeah so yeah uh, it's about 5 30 on a Friday so I think it's time for me to have a beer and uh, yeah we'll catch you tomorrow Taking their time. Um, so we just shut, what was in there? I mean, 40 odd ewes into one paddock. So then we can open these three paddocks, and it should be a good, a good number of ewes and lambs in here for a tailing mob. Um, yeah, just open them up trying to get um, make sure that ewes are, have got enough feed least now, pressure on the grass yeah now that it's starting to grow and then we can put some cattle in this one here and chew it off before we need to spray it out for um, putting much crop in there there'll be kale down there there's a couple of uh, babysitting groups in there <laughs> shame we can't see it in the video We occasionally spend our Saturday evening. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? Happy lambs jumping and playing. <laughs> it's a, nice to sit back and kind of see all the hard work that the ewes have done. All, oh, all the stress, all the pressure, you know. All, the wet and, and the, you know. We've gotten this far. Yeah, they've done well and they're here and they're healthy and the majority of them. So we're looking at tailing down here probably within, oh, I'd be within the next two weeks, I suppose. Um, yeah, we've got some exciting news with the, on the tailing front. So that'll be in an upcoming video. You guys will just have to hang tight and wait for the announcement on that. Hey, new mamas. How you doing? Who's that? Girl. Girl. Hey, that's it. Oh, that's it. I can do this. I did it. Right, put it in line with the other one. Keep going, keep going there. Stop there. Quite different to lambs. Like if you saw a lamb lying like that, you'd be like, oh, it's not good. <laughs> oh, I didn't get to pet it. No, it wants its mum. It's alright, 
love. He's just putting an earring in. Mm. You're okay. Georgia? I should have told you they're quite dangerous, the mums. We're going up the hill now and when the wind's blowing, it's going to be blowing me backwards. So that's going to be hard. Oh, it's not that windy anymore, but it will be. It goes like bad, kind of bad, not bad, bad, kind of bad, bad, kind of bad, not bad, kind of bad, bad, bad. It like that but in a different order I don't know the order so yeah so had a bit of lunch got those hobbits in um, just gonna grind up some shearing gear just go crutch uh, the ones that are gonna go to the works go to Ansco tomorrow so yeah got the grinder here and got our combs all cleaned up uh, spent last night uh, a bit of time last night uh, cleaning them up inside so yep uh, yeah and then we've got our cutters that'll go on this side sorry about the wind noise she's blowing a, a heck of a gale out there at the moment We've got the microphone cover on, but it's really horrible to work in. It's a Norwest. It's nice to dry everything out. Pretty rough and draining though. Help! <whistles> Dusty! One goes in the waiting line. run them across the board or you'd flip them over in the oh you could do them standing up in the race right especially with this yeah true yep you come on love well, you have to you be able to get away from the same time yeah back could be a bit sore oh yeah These are the twins, our twin bearing hoggets. So they've been all vaccinated and had their drink. They're gonna go over to the crossing paddock and then they're gonna go um, over the road, probably tomorrow. It's about 4.30 now, so it's a bit, bit late. Still gonna go and feed some hay up to the uh, cows at the top. So I'm pretty stoked how these girls are looking, um, all of them, these and the singles. So as you remember, if you'll be following along, the um, they were light at mating, um, just in the summer we had last year. Yeah, so they, they averaged 52 and a half kilos. So well in their way. Um, yeah, could do with being a wee bit bigger, but they're in good condition, good frame size. Um, yeah, really, really stoked with how they've come along. So put a lot of emphasis on growing them out on crop 
um, making sure they haven't been pushed at all. So, yeah, pretty happy about that. Right, we'll go and um, draft out, so I'll count out some singles to go up on the hill paddock and the rest can go out in the driveway, ready to cross over the road there tomorrow. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna count out 90 and they're gonna go in this paddock here and the one below over there. But we'll just poke them in here for now and then we can gather them up and count some through uh, when we get a chance. So we'll count these out. So that's 90 there. We will um, just open this gate up and they can wander into the hill paddock. We'll chuck a heading dog around once, uh, once we've got some other ones drafted out. So 114 there, they'll go over the road and get split up again into two lots. And then, yeah, these are our works, dries. Pretty nice line there. They're going tomorrow, so we'll just, once we get these out of the holding paddock up here, we'll poke these um, just into the holding paddock for the night. So we've got the rams in the shed. I'll try and share these tomorrow tidy them up and then they can just chill out for the summer before they need it again so yeah reduce that risk of fly and keep them healthy take the wool off now it's warming up so on that note i might leave this video here and we will catch you in the next one don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already thanks see you later